Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria and I want to share with you guys um, things I think would be helpful to take to the NICU. If you are a parent of a preemie or you know your baby's going to be in NICU, um, I just wanted to share with you guys some things that I think might be helpful um, if you're not sure what you can take. Um, because I know that it's a lot, it can be really overwhelming. There are things that you don't think about. And so um, I really wanted to make this video to help you guys um, because I, I know that I wish something like this was out there for me when I had my daughter. So um, yeah, let's get started. Um, so like I said, when you first go into the NICU, um, it's overwhelming. There are so many things going on um, on top of being a new mother. Um, you're terrified of just everything going on with your baby and there's just a lot of things that you forget and so the best thing that I recommend bringing for sure is a notebook and of course a pen or pencil um, that way you can write down information that the doctor tells you about your about your baby or if you have questions you can jot them down and then remember to ask later um, I always tried to be there during grounds so that way I could write down all the information on how my daughter was doing that day and then later on I'd go home and review it all or while I was visiting with her I would just review it all and then think of questions that I needed to ask and so having a notebook was really helpful um, and I also just wrote to kind of pass the time and just kind of record how I was feeling how Scarlett was doing every day and just kind of journal um, our experience while we were there. So a journal was nice to have for sure. Um, another thing that I highly suggest is um, hand sanitizer. You're going to be obsessed with keeping things clean as germ-free as possible. And so um, Hand sanitizer is always a great thing to carry, to keep in your bag. Um, you're gonna need a backpack to carry all of this stuff in. Um, and so hand sanitizer for sure is a, is a must. Um, I also suggest bringing a tiny bottle. I didn't think of this at the time, um, but I suggest bringing a tiny bottle of like dish soap or baby dishwash soap um, if you're a pumping mom. There's going to be a lot of bottles and a lot of pump parts to wash and so you're going to want to have a little travel soap with you so that you can do that. Um, I also recommend bringing a plastic bag or something to hold all of your parts and actually what I want to recommend to you guys is this tiny shop called Eden and Emeralds. Um, it's run by a woman named Julia and she makes these little pouches um, and she has one now that's specifically for pump pumping parts and it says nourish on it and the inside liner is um, waterproof. I'll link her shop down below. Um, but if not, I mean, you can always use like a lunch box, um, which is another thing I recommend taking. Um, you're gonna do a lot of traveling back and forth between the hospital and either your home or if you're like me and have to stay at the Ronald McDonald house, you're gonna travel a lot back and forth. And if you're pumping like I was, then you're gonna need somewhere to store your milk in between. Um, so I suggest getting a lunchbox and ice packs. Um, at the hospital where I was, every time I pumped, they would just take my milk and automatically put it in the freezer. Um, but you know, when I was at the Ronald McDonald house, they had a place for me to store my milk. But once that place got full, I would have to transport it from there to the hospital. So it was nice to have that lunchbox with me all the time. Let's see. You're gonna need busy work. Um, so in the beginning, uh, I was not allowed to hold Scarlett for a really long time. And so I just kind of had to sit in there in her room and hang out, um, which wasn't bad. I, I enjoyed that time with her but it's super quiet and there's not a whole lot to do. There's no TV or anything. And so um, I would suggest busy work, like maybe Sudoku, a puzzle or a word puzzles, coloring books, stuff like that to keep you busy. What I did was I ended up making friendship bracelets. Um, and these were actually a fundraiser that my family and I were doing to kind of help 
um, BJ and I pay bills while Scarlett was in the hospital. And so I made friendship bracelets while I was in her room. And so that's what I did. That's what kept me busy. Um, let's see. Another thing is to pack your lunch. Um, or, I mean, you can eat lunch there, but make sure to pack lunch or snacks, especially if you're a pumping mom. Um, there, I mean, it's not a lie. You do need to stay fed and hydrated. So I would also suggest a reusable water bottle. Um, so yeah, carry that stuff with you. It comes in handy. Um, also, um, when I was able to hold Scarlett, my daughter, um, a button up shirt was something that I did need. And this was actually the shirt that I wore the very first time that I, I held Scarlett. Um, but it's a button up shirt and it just made it so much easier and you're gonna need one. So I would suggest buying a few. So that way it's easier to just unbutton it and put them on your chest and be there. Um, I actually didn't think of this, but in talking with moms um, since coming home, um, I know one mom who had multiple button-up shirts and she would just keep a bag in the NICU and she would just switch out her top um, anytime she went in so that she could hold her baby. And I wish I would have thought of that because it would have been so much easier than trying to find stuff to wear every single day. Um, but yeah, so there's that tip. Um, another thing is pillows. You can bring your own pillow. My hospital provided me with pillows and they have to like stack them up in order to like keep all the tubing and the wires and stuff in its place when you're holding your baby. And so um, eventually what we ended up doing was we used a boppy and it really helped. I didn't ever get a chance to breastfeed, but it did help to like keep it up here. And so it would help me support my arms because I was only allowed to hold her for an hour at a time um, in the beginning until she, you know, she was more stable and I could hold her for longer periods of time. And so you wanna be as comfortable as you can while you're holding your baby, because if you have to get up for any reason, they have to, it's a lot of work and a lot of stimulation to put them back into bed and get them out again. So they're not gonna let you do that. <laughs> or at least my hospital didn't let me do that. Um, I would go in and hold her at least once a day, um, but I couldn't do like the whole, put her down, pick her back up, put her down, pick her back up. So um, having comfortable pillows around um, really helped. Also, um, it's really cold in the unit. Um, they keep it really cold inside there so that it helps, you know, keep germs away. Um, so I suggest um, taking a blanket and keeping a blanket in the room. I bought this little fleece one and it's thin, so I didn't get too hot because I am hot natured, but it kept me warm. And so anytime I went in to hold Scarlet, I would sit in the chair, have all my pillows in the boppy, and then they would throw the pillow or throw the blanket over the both of us. And I would just sit there. Um, and while I was sitting there, um, I of course would talk to her and sing to her and hold her. Um, but I also um, watched movies. So I suggest um, bringing headphones. We had our own private room for a while and so um, I didn't really need my headphones. I just kept the volume on my phone down really, really, really low. Um, but when we eventually moved to general pop population, um, I needed my headphones. And so uh, headphones are another thing that I would recommend taking. Um, I also found this little phone holder I got this at the Target uh, Bullseye Playground for like five bucks when my daughter was in the hospital. Since then, I have not been able to find them anywhere else and I get a lot of questions about it, um, but that's where I found this. And now, of course, you don't really need it because they make the pop sockets that hold your phone, which would have been super convenient when my daughter was in the hospital, but you know, I found things that worked. But that's what would prop my phone up and hold there. Um, Another thing I, I would recommend, and um, I actually didn't think about this at the time, but I would put your phone inside of a plastic bag. That way, I mean, you take your phone everywhere, and so it's going to be super dirty and full of germs. So if you put it inside 
the plastic bag, you know, it kind of contains all that grossness. Um, unless you were like me and you didn't think of that and you would just wipe down your phone with a sanitizing wipe every day. There's that too, but if you use this, I feel like it's much safer and you can still use your phone while it's in there. So there's that. Um, you're also going to need tissues, a lot of them. So I always make sure to have these things for sure every day with me um, because you're gonna cry a lot. It's gonna be an emotional roller coaster. Um, I hate that phrase. I hate when people say that, um, but it's just so true. Like there's really no better way to say it or explain it other than an emotional roller coaster. Um, so tissues are a must for sure. I wore one over my, but I wore one every day, but um, if you're a pumping mom, I would also suggest uh, buying a sports bra. And I know it's kind of weird, but buy a sports bra, uh, just cheap ones, and cut holes out in the nipples. So that way when you're pumping, you know, the, the cut parts can stick out and um, it helps kind of do some of that work for you, holds it up for you while you're holding your bottles or something. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's weird, but it helps. I can't think of what else. I think that's it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, I'm really trying to um, give all the information that I can because my, like I said, my daughter was in the hospital for a really long time and um, knowing some of the things that I do now beforehand would have really helped me. And so um, I just, I highly recommend um, all of these items. Another thing is um, I also carried a little brush and a hair tie. Uh, I had longer hair at the time and so anytime I held my daughter I always made sure to have my hair up and back so that it wasn't like in her face or anything. So these are another good thing to add in. Um, but yeah. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and please share this. Um, I'm really trying to reach as many families as I can so that I can help them. I really wish some of this information was out there when I was, when my daughter was in the hospital. Um, and so that's my reason for creating videos like this. If you have any questions or just, you know, anything, just leave them in the comments below. And please don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for taking my advice and I hope it helped. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.